Hello everyone and welcome to the 16th episode of our Stalker Gamma Invictus run. Last episode, we were up north farming for expert tools. We did a lot of missions, got a lot of stashes. Uh, we lost... Did we lose guys? I think we lost a couple of guys, but that's alright. We got another one. And uh, I don't know if you've seen the bonus content at the end of the video, but uh, after spending a little bit more time running around the northern parts, I decided to go back home because uh, I do want that exoskeleton repair kit recipe. And honestly, Zaton and Jupiter are not the best places to farm them. There's just not enough endgame stalkers to kill because only they drop them. So I will have to make my way to outskirts, but I don't want to do it right now. I do have a mission to go to the Jupiter Underground, but I don't want to do it just yet. I want to get Rogue first, and that means Brain Scorcher. So we made our way back to Rostock, and I did, with the expert tools, upgrade some of our stuff. So we got the best backpack that we can get. Last episode, I upgraded the night vision to the highest tier, upgraded the PDA, upgraded the detector, which will not be important right now. Uh, I also upgraded the carbon steel plates to improved, so that should help with the ballistic resistance. And the best thing yet, I repaired our SR3M Vicar, which should be amazing in dealing with the monolith in the brain scorcher our armor is still not the best um it did also get max upgrades for the second row unfortunately i oh and i did the improved healing so that should help a little bit i should probably before we go make um fine-tuning armor kit and uh, increase our ballistic resistance as well. Maybe the weight. We'll see what we do. I completely forgot about the armor's upgrades. All right, we also upgraded the Spartan helmet for the stamina recovery and the radiation resistance. Even though we don't have an exo repair kit, I just upgraded it at the mechanic. And um, also did some uh, random weapon upgrades so that should help a lot. Um, also, I ended up getting about 150,000 uh, rubles, which I used for the upgrades, and I also bought ammo. So we got 545 AP, 340, which will be used inside the monolith base, maybe. Actually, we'll use these to take out the radar and the monolith base. And inside the Brain Scorcher, I will switch to the SR3M, which is uh, actually a really amazing weapon. It does more damage than the 545 weapons. So we are pretty low on 556 ammo, so we will take the AK-105 Specialist. We do have a broken Monolith 1.0, but I don't think it's worth taking it just yet. Um... Maybe it's not upgraded either. Oof, the scopes are so good on it though, because it can mount uh, NATO scopes. But yeah, I I think same mag size. I think it's not worth upgrading it right now. We did fix some other weapons. I tried fixing the PKM and the RPD. I wanted to give them to my companions. Unfortunately, they don't want to use them, so that sucks. We also fixed the Saiga Dushman, uh, which will be amazing later when fighting mutants. It's got two more mag size than the standard Saiga, the nerd. And uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah. That's pretty much it. So this will be the gear we're taking up into the Brain Scorcher. Um, I also got about 13 grenades, which should help. Um, if not, I will just dump them there when I come back, because I'm expecting to carry a lot of gear back with us. 
and uh, a lot of bullets switch the meds to stim packs we have uh, i think these should be enough to last us through the monolith monolith base we've got the morphine um, and i will actually have to get some um what do you call it um i completely forgot what you call it epinephrine yes uh, so we don't run out of stamina and in case we need something to clear dizziness away. For example, we might get some dizziness once we use the rebirth. I hope we won't have to do it, but uh, you never know. All right. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment and uh, let's start our run. Okay. Army warehouses, I do hear some cats to the right. Apparently that place spawns more cats than anything else. I do actually want to speak to these guys. Maybe they want to join us. Uh, there's a loner here and there's another duty guy up top. Ah, no. Nope, no luck apparently. I think most of them have a two men uh, group. Well, that settled it. <laughs> we did have a mission to kill this exact guy. You know what? I'll leave the heavier things behind just because uh, I don't want to end up being overweight. Another duty are there. Okay. Oh, and we have a mission to clear another... More bandits. Uh, the duty is fighting the freedom base on his own. <laughs> well, I'm definitely not going to end up recruiting him. Okay, where's the other one? There we go. Um, ah. Freedom definitely got that guy. Ooh, maybe not step into that anomaly. And uh, I did actually cook some food, so I'm going to have some lurker chops. <coughs> oh, there's a controller somewhere around here. Oh, never mind, not the controller. It's a little angry, um, little angry boys. I think there was another one. Okay.
at least they die easy. And that's a lot of bureau brains, which uh, are not that easy to come by, actually. Okay, anyone here? I'm gonna switch my guys to ignore combat. And that's just a jar, so don't really care about it. I'm looking around a bit because sometimes uh, there are some nasty mutants spawning around here. I've seen everything from controllers to chimeras to lurkers, so... Now, we didn't bring a shotgun, we had a, have a 150 uh, FMJ ammo, and I think that should be enough for uh, the enemies in uh, radar. Okay, so we're in radar. I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna keep HP. There may be a monolith guy over here by the little... Uh, gate, but uh, usually it's uh, mutants, so HP ammo is probably better. Oh! That was a lurker. And where there's one, there's usually more. Oh! Pseudo dogs. This weapon's loud. Okay, so we got two lurkers to pursue the dogs. Um, yeah, sorry about the lagginess uh, at the exit from uh, from army warehouses. I I uh, found out what the problem was in the end with the. Uh, Near, near exits the video encoder for OBS. Um, oh, that's a snork. So yeah, at exits the video encoder sometimes uh, just uh, overloads badly in uh, OBS and it results in a very, very, very laggy video but uh, the game works just fine um so i i ended up doing some research because uh, yeah i've already been here and uh this is basically a, a reload just because uh, after after reaching near the brain scorcher i realized that the video was just a laggy mess so I, I reloaded right at the start here and uh, yeah, I discovered the issue. Apparently my, my main monitor was set to a higher refresh rate than the secondary monitor on which I'm, I'm recording uh, the game and that caused the, the encoder to, to bug out. So switch switched the monitor back to 60 and uh, I'd say it's... Uh, doing much better now so we're gonna go around this part just because uh, it's it's a bit better um, it has a bit more cover and there's usually a couple of monolith guys right here this is in general not from my previous experience oh 
That scared me. Where's the other one? Okay, and there's one more. I think he's behind that bush. Behind the pipe. Okay. Just push him. Okay. Uh, don't really care about the Ventores. In here, no. Okay. Oh, interesting. There's usually a couple of monolith guys there. But uh, maybe they're fighting something else. I just realized I didn't bring any uh, grenades. Uh, I mean, uh, any mines to, to do the trick I did last time. So we can't booby trap the fence exit, which kind of sucks. Because I have no idea what what's beyond the fence, so I will probably try and go around it a little bit, just so uh, we don't attract anything that's on the other side. Because honestly, I, I wouldn't like to fight a pseudo-giant right now. Okay, looks to be clear. We're still running the AP ammo. Right, next up is... Uh, oh, that's a nasty burner there. These guys here. That's one. There's usually two. Nope, just the one. Right, got some more HP ammo for the 545. Oh! Okay, a specialist, that's not bad. Oh, the, the anomaly placement on this road is always so annoying and it can, uh, it can change the whole way you approach this, uh, this uh, monolith, monolith base. For example, one very good and safe uh, tactic is uh, one here is uh, to stay behind this sandbag and just uh, peek and poke at the monolith guys at the base, and then just wait behind the sandbags, like here, for example, and they would be coming uh, right near that pillar of the fence. Unfortunately, uh, because I'm running. Uh, the um, uh, grass mod on summer. Uh, there's a lot of foliage here, so um, yeah, it, it makes it a little bit more uh, difficult to spot them as they come, so you have to pull back a bit more. It's, it's a waiting game. It takes a lot of patience to do that. Okay, so I told my guys to wait right here, and uh, I think I'm gonna do what I did last time, which is uh, I'm gonna poke at the tower. Uh, maybe there's someone here. No. So, gonna go nice and easy all the way to that fence there. Gonna swap to the sniper rifle. You know what? Switch to AP. Just because I, I want the guy to die in one shot. So we'll do what we did before. I'm gonna poke the guy on the tower there. And then I'm gonna 
push really fast all the way to the front door and the trees. He didn't see us. And he never will. This tower is empty. Okay. Oh, that tower is not empty. Empty now. Alright, so let's let's make a quick rush for it. I would like to take some anti-rad. And I hope they don't actually charge from behind. Oh! Is he in the tower? Yes, he is. Okay, so behind these trees here. Yeah, that's that's my favorite spot. The only danger here is grenades. And if they charge from behind, because it's not very good cover from there. But let's push in a little bit. Um, gonna just throw a grenade right here. I don't know if I'll catch anyone, but... Right, they know we're here. So let's run back to our little tree cover. I also realized I didn't take any um, uh, morphine. Keeping an eye on the back as well. Okay, I wonder where they are. I think they might have pulled on the other side of the fence, which is a little bit of an annoying. But it's okay, we can just take these uh, other trees as cover. No one over there. Huh. They they definitely know we're around here because we've heard them shouting. No one up there. Okay, this is not the best place to be. Okay, I hear a few more. I think they're on the other side of the fence. Oh, crap! Oh. 
classic monolith suicide grenade. All right, that was not a classic suicide grenade. That was a classic Kobe. Well, two of this, two of us can play that game. Right, he's down. Okay, I think that was it. Hopefully. Wasn't the best of clears. But, um, except that one grenade, I don't think we were in any danger. So, let's take a Venka to heal up our chest. And let's start the looting. Nothing too interesting right now. Hmm. Nah. It was really cool that we managed to catch their patrol with a grenade there. We're also getting uh, a few stashes, I think. Okay, um, actually, I, I can still... Are there any guys up here? No, only in the other tower, I think, we killed two guys. Always check the long way here, because sometimes they, they still come around that, that area. Okay, and... Uh... Ah, I'm gonna put that back. Okay. Right, I think we're ready for the Brain Scorcher. We just need to um, refresh our drugs. Um, Eat, drink, and uh, maybe fix the armors. Gonna switch my guys to ignore combat. And I'll also tell them to wait right here in front of the lab. I don't think there's any use actually pulling them into the lab. They're not that good in there, honestly. Um, yeah, that should be good. Okay, so uh, let's... Uh, get rid of everything that's too heavy for us. We won't need these. Actually, I'll keep the Hydroshock. Okay, I'm gonna need all the grenades. Uh, ooh, we have a heavy repair kit, and I just realized... I didn't completely repair this, so we can actually fix the trigger and the, I think that's the bolt carrier uh, with that uh, heavy repair kit. Right, what else? Any extra food that we don't need? I might eat a masculine meal, meal right now. All the extra ammo and grenades we don't need, and uh, the other guy? Nope. You're gonna take all of these Newton parts.
Okay. And that's it. Our armor took a little bit of a beating, but uh, we should be able to fix it up. Another one. I'll just use the 70% one. There we go. Perfect. Right, next up. I want to eat. I'll take a masculine meal. It will help with the carry weight. Okay, we'll have some water. And uh, I know we still have like a few minutes on the morphine, but I will do another one just because I don't want it to run out in the middle of the brain scorcher. All right, and also, actually, I, I don't need to do an epi. Okay, so I'm going to have to clean a second trigger and carrier. So let's start with trigger and old carrier. Perfect. We wouldn't want this little weapon to get uh, jammed on the on the way in. So switch to AP. Okay. And in we go. All right, we're in. I immediately went uh, crouched into sneak mode. And uh, there is one more. Got him. Right, I'll tell my guys to wait here. There should be another one here. Yeah. Perfect. We got that one. Okay, and now all we have to do is rush in and murder everyone on the way. This weapon is actually amazing. 9x39 is just so overpowered. Okay, that was one. And, uh, okay, that's the only one. There should be one here as well. Yeah, I, I, in case you think I know what's going to happen, it's because I did do a few practice runs of uh, the Brain Scorcher before this. But of course, you, you can never know exactly what's going to happen. Like, monoliths are crazy, they'll just push you sometimes. Like they just did. Oh boy. Right. There's always a few more coming from here. Like that. Right. I would like to heal up my arms. Oh. Right. We're actually doing quite well on time, so I'm not worried about that. And uh, one here. No. Good. Keep moving. Oh, there's going to be a few of them here. Yeah. There's always a couple. Just gonna go around, make sure there's no one behind us. No, nope, we already got that one from up top. And down the st stairwell. We still have eight minutes. This this is uh, really good. We're basically this this weapon's overpowered as hell. At this time at this point in the game. Okay. Always check under the stairwell. There's always one there. And uh yeah, we can keep moving. If it looks like I'm missing a lot of my shots, it's because it's really hard to see the crosshair um, with the black and white night vision. Right. 
Okay, that was a bit annoying. You know what? I'll actually do one more round of meds. Right. There's usually a guy waiting somewhere around here in ambush. Not this time. Right. Uh... Safety grenade. Yeah, we, we saw him there. And that's why I got a million grenades here. Right, this is another annoying room. Oh, crap. Didn't see the one on my right. That, that could have been deadly. Okay, this is another room I really hate. Luckily, he was reloading as well. <laughs> when in doubt, throw another grenade. At, in the best case, it's gonna... Um, kill them outright. Worst case, uh, it's gonna make them try and push you. He threw another grenade. Okay. Where are you? Right, got him. One more here. And there's probably a couple of more here. Oh, wow. Three more. I don't think they're all dead. Actually, yes, they are. Right. No one here. And we're actually <laughs> finished with the Brain Scorcher. <laughs> and we still have almost five minutes left on the clock, which is just amazing. Took the Rainbow Emitter documents. We might do the military mission. And uh, yeah. Cover your ears, everyone. Stupid lever. I'm sorry about the noise, but uh, yeah, when you turn off the brain scorcher, you basically get like a, a small anomaly happening, a small psi storm or emission happening above. Okay, so. Let's heal everything up. We can do another stim pack. Actually, we don't even need to. We can just use two bandages. There we go. Um. Oof, our ibuprofen is running a bit low. Okay, and another Vinca for the torso. can grab something to eat as well. And I will take an epinephrine now just uh, to be able to carry everything out. Okay, so let's get to looting. I'm not gonna take anything too heavy. I might as well leave that as well. We're also out of AP ammo for this, but uh, honestly... Yeah, I'm gonna actually... The barrel... Um, let's see. X18 as exoskeleton. Yeah, not not really that good of a 
of an armor. Okay, there was one up here. AK-103, don't really care about that. At this point, we, we have uh, good enough weapons for both uh, 556 and uh, uh, 545. So I don't think it's really worth taking, uh, taking even more. I'm guessing the emission's about to die out so we can actually hear each other again properly. Oh, another specialist. Right, I'm gonna drop this back. I think we already have one of these at home, so I'm not gonna bother taking it. I will take this, though, just because we're starting to run out. This is actually pretty cool. We might be able... I don't remember if we fixed the deer hunter or not, but uh, yeah, I think it's worth it. Jury rigged power supply, not really. The batteries I will keep. Okay. Um, uh, nope. Hmm, this is too heavy for, for the amount of money it brings us. I love how the bloodsuckers are still here. Uh... Disassemble this. Okay. There should be two more here, right? AK-101. Don't need that. On the bright side, we are making back a lot of the ammo we spent. At least for the AK. Like We, we have more FMJ than we came in with. Oh yeah, always check this spot. It's got uh, meds and ammo. Um, there was one here, right? Yeah. Um, what does it have on it? Got a grenade launcher, and uh, uh, I mean, why don't we just buy it out? Ah. You know what? Nah. Okay, are these military jury rigged? Um Nah, they're they're too heavy to carry. Our companions are nearly full. So uh they won't be able to carry much either. So we have to consider what we can bring back with us all the way to Rostock. Ah, a Dragonov. Uh, I I hate when uh, when it does that uh, when it gets that glitch. Okay, this is the one we killed from above. B forty six K, not important. So we did use up all our. Um, 9 by 39 AP ammo, but I'm I'm okay with that. We'll just get more later. We will need a lot more um, by the late game. For example, I wouldn't take the Sin Base or uh, UNISG without a good stockpile of 9 by 39 ammo. And uh, I I would actually like an RD 9 by 39 or at least the Merc version. This is a bloodsucker, right? Yeah. 
Okay, um, one more over here. Seven six two by fifty one. You know what? I'll take this and I'll probably give it to Hip or to one of our guys because it's got a lot of damage and it can mount pretty nice stuff. I might even try using it myself. I never, I never used one of these. Um, I'll probably check it in a different save game. Because I, I don't feel like, uh, like experimenting on, on, uh, on this one. Ooh, a Viclop. I kind of like this sniper rifle, but can we carry it all the way back home? I mean, it would give us a different type of weapon. Uh, you know what? Nah, let's, let's just leave it. Uh All right, all right. We'll we'll take it. <laughs> the light scared me for a second there. I thought I missed the monolith on the way down. Okay, we have another one, but another specter site is uh always welcome. We can't really use it on anything, uh, except maybe on this. But it will, will be really cool not having to swap between uh, between uh, guns every time. Alright, I think that's most of them looted. There's still the three guys at the entrance. And uh, oh, morphine will still last us for a good while. But uh, I may have to do another one on the way back. G36, don't care about that. Saiga nerd. Four. And finally, an Ash 12. Um, you know what? No. No, don't really like the Ash. Okay, so hip is all full. Let's give this guy the rest of the stuff. And I think that's all he can carry. Unless I do one of those uh, sneaky things where I give him a lot of stuff and then give him... Nope. Okay. Bits and pieces. Um, you can basically... Um, Overload them with gear if you take them just to the right point and then uh, drop something heavier than what they can carry. Right, so we're going out. Okay, so we're out, but we're not out of the woods yet. We may still get respawns. Um, oh, actually... Yep, you have my sniper rifle on you, don't you? Uh, oh, not those. Want those back. But I should still be able to give her some... thing. <laughs> I guess that was it. Okay. So I really hate this, uh, this exit here. Because if the monolith responds while you're inside, it makes it crazy hard to get out. But it looks like we're good. Well, at least this part of the base looks okay. Um, yeah, and there's one more thing, the road down, that little checkpoint they have there uh, with the campfire. Uh, that thing is horrible to assault from the way up, so I really hope they didn't respawn on the way.
the, the annoying thing is uh, they can actually see through this tree, but I can't. So if they're down there, they're gonna know I'm coming. Okay, looks looks safe. There may still be some on the road. Plus mutants, always. But let's see what we have. Oh no. You saw that, right? That was a pseudo giant. My guys are set to not fight. So let's try and sneak past. And hopefully it won't catch on to us. I think that pseudo giant probably fought the monolith um, that were over here when we came in. Looks like there's no one there, so we're free to keep on going. Right, gonna swap to HP. Because I am expecting more enemies, uh, more... Okay, pseudo giants over there. And right now we can't afford to lose a companion either. Oh, fracture. Yeah, I can't really afford to lose a companion either because they're all full of uh, of stuff. So let's try sneaking by them. That Fracture might actually be fighting the Pseudo-Giant, which it is a really good thing for me. Right, don't draw aggro. Just keep running, just keep running. Keep an eye on that area. Just because you, you never know what's going to jump you. Uh, as we know, radar is full of uh, everything from pseudo giants to chimeras, controllers. And I really don't want to end up jumped by a chimera. Okay, looks clear. Uh, this way. Alright, we are done with radar. Holy crap. That was uh, a trip. <laughs> okay, so all we need is to get through army warehouses back to Rostock. And uh, yeah, we did really well. Much better than I thought we would. The, the, um, the vicar really carry this there because if we simply went in with the 545 it would have probably taken too long to to drop the monolith inside okay um let's swap to fmj there might be some freedom on the way so let's 
I'm gonna actually cut probably through the village. Um, cause I, it's not that I don't want to face freedom right now. I mean, we're, we're doing pretty good with the armor and, uh, health, everything's okay. But we simply don't have the inventory space to carry everything. Right, keep an eye out for chimeras and we're good. Just keep running. Oh, there might be some bandits here. So, let's uh, take a quick look. No, oh, looks clear. Um, this one was actually also much faster than than I anticipated so um, after we get to Rostock and I arrange everything in the nope. stashes uh, uh, he doesn't want to join us I think I'm also gonna take a quick trip to uh, truck cemetery and uh, grab the stashes there uh, maybe a few missions Just so I don't cut this epi episode very, very short. Right, switch to HP because we're probably going to meet some guys, some uh, mutants in Rostock. Okay. The oh, fleshes. This weapon is so loud, even with the silencer. I know I said it before, but... Like, I could even hear the echoes. Actually, I'm curious. How loud it is it without... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but let's turn it in. Oh, uh, it's uh, the bandits we killed on the way to Radar. Okay. So, let's see what missions we have around here. We probably have Dr. Sausages. I usually do most of the turn-ins around here. Bloodsucker Hearts. We have exactly three Dr. Sausages. We have the Bloodsucker Hearts. Bracelet. Uh, do we have a bracelet? Doesn't look like it. Nope, no bracelet. Definitely have cat thyroids. Mm. Oh yeah. We, we actually farmed freedom for a little bit. I have a flesh hide on me. And I don't want to give it right now. 
Your brain, we have a lot of those. We should have lurker meat. And that's it. Okay. So, lurker meat, your brain, cat tyrant. I don't remember how much uh, each of them. How much we, we needed of each. Okay, so let's turn in the missions. It's not much, but it does earn you a pretty penny if you do this every time you're here. Also kind of pisses me off that... Uh, that's better. Okay, where's the next one? Over there, okay. The lurker meat. Okay, there's also one down here. Those would be the freedom patches. Yeah, there's one more there, and then we're gonna visit the bar. Then drop everything we got from the missions. That we don't really need, for example... Uh, I don't know. And we'll head off to Cox Cemetery. A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, stashes in the garbage. But honestly... At this point, I'm not sure they're worth it. If we go to the garbage, we'll probably waste some some bullets uh, fighting mutants. And uh, I honestly really don't know if the actual things you get in the stashes cover the cost. Even if it's just buckshot. But we have a good stockpile of mutant parts, and uh, if we just redo these missions every time we visit uh, Rostock, we should have uh, a little bit of money. Oh, two jobs. Okay. Right, gonna visit the... Um, I think it's Colonel Kuznetsov and um, sell some of the miscellaneous stuff we've got here. And then we'll take a quick run through garbage. Then we'll come back and um, I think that's going to be it for this episode. But it'll, it'll still be a little while, so... Right. Let's trade. Uh, this. We only need three of these for a mission. This included. Okay. Anything else I would like to sell? Um. You know what? I think we're good. I could have left my sniper rifle behind. But I, I didn't think. Oh yeah, two of these. 
I, I always find myself uh, needing um, artifact containers. And there was just, there was, a, an emission just happened, so uh, we may find some artifacts around, uh, around Croc Cemetery. And the cool thing is, we'll manage to test our uh, new gun as well. I don't really like Desert Eagles, uh, it's just, there's... Too much hype around them. I know they're good guns, but uh Alright. Here we are in uh proximity and we're instantly gonna go for this stash right here. And we can keep our um detector out I'll, I'll let my guys get in combat as long as it's not a pseudo giant I think we're, we're gonna be okay Okay, let's see, what are we gonna get here? And where's the stash? I have to climb this. Oh, there it is. I mean, it's something. Okay, next up. Let's uh, head to the uh, Renegade base over there. After dealing with Monolith, this, sh this should be nice and easy. I would have expected more, uh... Alright, I thought that would have went along the lines. Okay, let's see, we need a good place to cover. This little hill should be okay. Right, one's up there, and I would like to switch to this, I don't really want to use AP ammo on these guys. I can't see the one up there because of the uh, light. So, ooh, your face, sir, it's gone. Okay, there's got to be more. Where the hell? Right. There's probably one more there. Huh, seven for you tactical. Oh, it's the mechanic running, I'm gonna guess. Right, I heard. Udo Giant or Chimera? Ignore combat. There was something moving over there. Could be the mechanic still running, or it could be something uh, big to kill. Oh! Chimera! Chimera fighting a snork. Uh, we got it, I think. And the Chimera got the snork. Perfect. 
Ooh, wow. Oh, and look at the condition on it. Oh, 16% rupture, 8% ballistic. Goodbye, flesh hide. Oh, that's amazing. Honestly, it, it was worth coming here just for that. Yeah, I, I should actually do a stim pack and uh, heal up our torso. And, uh, you know what, I'll just do a Yadalin here and we'll uh, clear the dizziness with some coffee. Energy drink. Okay, we looted that guy wait, and uh, let's tell our guys to wait. Uh... Rex. All right. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll pause for a second just because I really need to screenshot this. Perfect. Oh god, this game's so amazing. All right, uh, I think the stash is inside, if I remember right. Uh, can we get in there? A bit, a bit of the long way around, and here it is. Some upgrades and some ammo. What, we'll just take everything they have here. Perfect. What's next? Okay, there's a stash right in front of us, and then we can deal with these mutants. So, we'll just follow the mission arrow, and it should get us where we're, we want to go. Oh! What are they fighting? I don't see anything moving. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking something glitched into the ground here. Uh, I love the final level of uh, Detector. It's so nice when you can just run through everything with confidence because you can see uh, the anomalies on the Detector before you, you accidentally walk into them. Right, where is this one? Is it inside? No, it's here. Mm. No, oh, yes! It does look like it's in here. Come on. Alright. 762 FMJ. Amazing. Put the shotgun on. Did we get to use the Merc shotgun until now?
I don't think we did. Okay, I'm not sure what we're gonna fight. I think I heard some dogs in the distance. Let the guys back to fire at will. Okay, that's done. Where to next? Okay, two stashes straight down. I think was up here. Right? Yes. Yeah, we've we've actually visited this stash before, so and we left a few things behind, so. Okay, now there's usually some mutants hanging around here. Ooh, medkit. And alright, it's something. Night there. Yeah, it's not midnight yet, so we're not gonna find anything there. Felt like I saw something over there. And I heard a growl coming from, from that direction, too. Maybe a blood sun. Definitely a blood sucker. I sucker actually. Okay. And if we go straight forward, there's gonna be another stash there. So let's go grab that one as well. Starting to get a bit dark. Oh, look at that. Not inside. So, underneath. There we go. A more 545 HP. That's really good. Okay, where to next? That corner. Okay, we'll skip the fence here. Visibility is starting to not be as good. So I think that's just some burners up ahead. Yeah. I've actually never been here uh, looking for artifacts. But there's one right here. Lobster eyes. Oh, crap. Well, I got the eyes at least. Oh, that was painful. Uh, I think think that one anomaly was hidden right underneath the artifact and that's why I didn't see it. Alright, now where's the stash?
We can probably eat the lurker chops now. Um, gotta be here. Okay, that's a red upgrade for the armor and a PSO scope, which is good. What's next? Going towards the free stalkers for the green stash, and then there's just one more stash here. And another free stalker. Interesting. Uh, we should also fix our armors right now. Yeah, sure. Okay, and this one's at a four, so we use this and it's perfect. Considering whether to turn the night vision on, but not just yet. I'm I'm still enjoying the the sky as it is. I'll, I'll take a risk of getting jumped by a by a small mutant. There are sometimes chimeras around here. Here's the stash and an experienced loner. Mm. Not worth taking, honestly. And he doesn't want to join us. That's okay. And the other one is straight to the north. And it's dark. I think that was it for the truck cemetery. Yeah, we're not gonna spend more more time waiting for that uh, uh, mutant on. So let's just head back to Rostock. We'll do a quick recap and uh, see where we're at. I would have liked to get a few more mutants, to be honest. Okay, I'm hearing whispers. That's a controller I would rather use my uh, um, rifle to take care of it. Ah oh, no, it's just um, Carlix. Oh, wow. I nearly jumped in the middle of an anomaly. That 
That's the only thing I don't like about the night vision goggles. In general, you can't really see um, the anomalies properly. I mean, it wouldn't have killed us. It takes a few, a few beatings from one of those to to actually kill us with the armor we've got. But uh, yeah, it's it's we're we're lucky we we got away like this. Okay, back to Rostock we go. much safe now we just have to drop off everything we picked up a lot of upgrades which is uh really nice especially the armor ones and put down our weapons and of course, because we ran out and came back in, I'm going to have to check the missions again, but uh, we'll do that uh, afterwards. For now, let's do a quick recap. So today we started out from Rostock. We grabbed our um, Vicar, which uses 9x39, and uh, our uh, Specialist, which uses 5x5. We went through army warehouses, cleared out all of radar, uh, except uh, the mutants in the forest, but all the monolith. Uh, there were some close calls there. Finished the Brain Scorcher in, what I'd say, record time for me. We still had almost five minutes on the clock. Uh, it, it was... Um, yeah, the, the weapon we had carried us hard. It was amazing. And then we came back. Uh, ran through army warehouses, didn't do anything in there. Ended up back in Rostock, put everything we had back in the stash, uh, sold some things, went and cleared the uh, truck cemetery of all the stashes, and we had some mutant hunting missions. We got a pristine chimera hide, which is amazing. This will probably be used all the way up into endgame. I mean, 8% ballistic resistance is almost as much as steel plates, except we actually gain carry weight from the Chimera Hide, which is just amazing. Right, um, also, Lobster Eyes, we got a couple of artifacts. And uh, yeah, that was it. So, just an, an amazing run. I'm going to have to replace my knife. An amazing run run. Uh, I also managed to figure out what was affecting the um, OBS recorder, so uh, we won't be laggy anymore now that uh, I know what the problem is. And yeah, uh, between episodes I may um, run around, buy some money, maybe uh, do a quick stash run in garbage and um, army warehouses, maybe clear out the freedom base once again, get some bullets, get some just random stuff to sell. And uh, next episode, I would really like to head back north, finish the Living Legend uh, Enclave mission, and uh, we, there's also a few stashes, I would really love another set of expert tools to give to... Uh, I'm still going to call him Mangoon just because it sounds uh, funnier to me. Uh, to give to the technician here. And uh, hopefully we'll have enough time to also do the mission with Rogue in the... I think that's the antenna complex. And to make our way with Rogue to um, Strelok's base in the outskirts. And once we're in the outskirts, we will start farming for our exosuit and the recipe for the exosuit repair kit. 
and also some better weapons specifically i really want an rd9 by 39 or i think it's the mercenary version of the ventores which has a 30 round mag which i really want uh to have in order to deal with the the late game um well the the three big missions in in the end game which is the sin mission and actually two missions the sin mission and um, the unisg missions which are both pretty hard there's uh, very well armored enemies and uh 556 and 545 can can only take you so far i mean they're doable like that but it makes them much much harder but anyway that was it for today's episode uh, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you next time.